Hello and welcome to SCE365 TV. My name is George and today I'm going to show you how to restore your iPhone 4 with a custom made firmware without getting the error 11, error 3000 or 3000 and some x. Okay, so uh, this is the uh, actual error. For example, I tried to, um, to restore a Geeksnow uh, application, a Geek Grade 1 for downgrading my iPhone without using any SHSH bloops. You probably know this scenario already and uh, the idea is that I got it I got the error unknown uh, error 11 okay so yeah uh, nope there are two issues for um, for what you can get this error I got multiple um, questions on the forum here yeah you probably know the forum and there on the uh, super user icloud bypassing I've got multiple questions about error uh, 3000 um, on iTunes trying to restore the geek grade one uh, no matter what version and multiple uh, also um, also related errors like 3000 um, and some other numbers or 11 or Anyway, errors link it to a single problem or multiple problems but related to the same issue. First of all, you don't use iTunes with the latest version or with 12. Yeah, uh, Geek Grade is not compatible with iTunes with the latest version as, as Red Snow. Red Snow is not compatible too. If you, uh, if you open Red Snow, you will see that uh, certain operations like the um, the A5 jailbreak are disabled due to incomplete iTunes library. Uh, yeah, please be sure the latest iTunes is, is installed. But the latest iTunes for this program, which was created in uh, th uh, th 2012, it's the iTunes 11.4, uh, also known like 11.5. So yeah, don't be... Um, don't be tempted to install the latest version out there because as you can see the program is created in this year and in this year the program known the uh, latest version to be 11.4 okay so I, ha I have a pack here for installing the 11.4 as you can see 11.4.0.18 from Apple Incorporated Okay, and I have here the uh, Geek Grade for iOS uh, 6.1.2 for iPhone 3.1. But doesn't matter what uh, iOS you, you're trying to restore, it's the same error for all um, iOSs that are no longer signed by the uh, Apple signing window. Okay, so the first step on fixing this error is to uninstall this uh, version of iTunes and install the older one which I will recommend you to have on your PC installed in case you're using Red Snow, uh, you're using, I don't know, I decrypted and SHSH.GAR like this one or something like this because Snow, Breeze, iRab because um, those applications are very old and are no longer uh, compatible with the, uh, the latest version so let me uninstall everything that is related to Apple. Do not uninstall only iTunes from your uh, programs and features because Bonjour is also on the latest version. Uh, Apple Software Update is also on the latest version. Apple Application Support, both versions, are on the latest version and Apple Mobile Device Support, which is very important because this program or this library creates the link between the phone and the computer. Uh, is also on the latest version. So it, if you only um, if if you only uninstall iTunes, you won't get it. You won't get the error fixed. You can uh, eventually get an error from um, iTunes uh, 11.4 insta installer that will tell you something about cannot install iTunes. Everything was rolled back to the normal and something like this because if those things are on the latest version and you're trying to install a an older version of iTunes, it will get in a um, in a system conflict with uh, those systems and will actually file. 
Okay, so you have to uninstall everything related to Apple and even Bonjour. So everything it's from the publisher Apple ENC must be uninstalled, including QuickTime if you have it. Okay, so uh, let me uninstall everything. Okay, it looks like uh, I've already uninstalled everything from uh, which is related to this um, Apple products. Yeah, nothing uh, more. Okay, I can close this and I can start the um, iTunes 64 setup. As you can see, if you uninstall iTunes, you will get um, the IPSW files to be black or with a um, with a sheet, a paper on it, and uh, this means that there there is no program associated with this uh, firmware. Don't worry, be happy. Okay, it's computing the space. Okay, as you can see, uh, it's iTunes 11.4464. I'm gonna put in the description the links for both 64 or, or x32 versions, because, yeah, you know. Uh, I will uncheck this one, I will leave English uh, United States. I will not use it for a uh, default player for audio files and uh, yeah, click install and I just have to wait. As you can see it installs its own uh, Apple systems. I'll be back when it finishes the installation because the installation takes mm, like 10 minutes or 8 minutes or 11 minutes, something like this. I'll be back. Okay guys, I'm back. So iTunes 11.4 has been installed successfully onto my PC. Okay, uh, after I uh, renamed the, um, the iTunes folder in the music, as you can see here in music, you got an, uh, a folder named iTunes. Uh, if it's uh, the folder for the latest version or for the uh, version you're trying to downgrade, you need to rename it into iOS, uh, into iTunes old, or you have to delete it because if you don't do so, you get an error from uh, iTunes. Okay, so let me check up the uh, the version. Uh, hopefully, I get it here. Nope, I don't. Okay, then uh, show me new bar. Help about. Okay, it's eleven point four. Great. Now we need to use iRab. iRab is an application created by I Hate Snow, which will uh, pawn the diffuse mode of your phone in order to accept the uh, custom-made firmware. You're gonna click iPhone 4, because uh, you have iPhone 4, or whatever you have here. Your iPhone should be in diffuse mode, I already put mine in diffuse mode, and hopefully it will uh, it will find it. If not, I have to put it again. Okay, it found my phone. And uh, yeah, your device is now in a pounded diffuse state, black screen, and you may launch iTunes and do a uh, shift plus restore to restore to a custom farmer. Note, if you get error uh, 2003 in iTunes, after extracting, just unplug and replug it again. Okay, I will close this one, open iTunes, the phone is in diffuse mode, I'm using the uh, official iOS charger cable because I heard that uh, if you don't use the original power cord you'll probably get errors. Okay, I click shift and restore. Select from the desktop the um, the gig grade for um, iPhone 3.1, I mean iPhone 4. And uh, iOS version is 6.1.2, but it doesn't matter because it's the same thing. Okay, it's extracting, I will let it extract and let's see if we get any error after extraction. So yeah, I'll be back. Okay, so it's almost uh, done with extracting and we'll be able to see if we get any error or we can uh, downgrade successfully without any SHSH bloops. Preparing iPhone 4 restore. Yep, no error waiting for iPhone great so uh, the things are going preparing iPhone for uh, software for restore 
and the APA logo and the progress bar appeared. The progress bar started to increase as verifying iPhone restart is undergoing. Restoring iPhone software. If uh, this bar transforms itself into a static one that increases, then it works. Oh, great! So it works. I will disconnect my phone now because I don't want it to be restored. Okay. And I will reconnect it again. And it's in the recovery mode. I, I will fix the recovery mode using Recboot. Um, after that okay so this is pretty much it this is what you have to do so uh, the firmware is there the uh, iTunes 11.4 um, 11 or 11.2 which is better and recommended by GeekGrade you can find this in the description you can also find iReb R7 too in the description and yeah, we've talked about this program in my uh, other videos, so it's not um, a new program for you, but this is pretty much the application you're going to use in order to get your phone in the um, in the Pwned Diffue mode. Now, I invite you on the forum to create a free account, yeah, so you can, uh, you can search on multiple topics on the iOS super user like jailbreaking, iCloud bypassing, custom-made firmwares, and so on on Windows Phone, iOS, Mac OS 6, Android, Android apps, career unlocking, Java, and so on. Programming for beginners and so on. And yeah, come on the forum and spend some time with us. You can ask us any question and so on. Yeah, the address is this one, http slash slash forum.fce365.info. And yeah, my name is George. Till the next time, give a like, a share, a subscribe, share the video so your friends will know about it, or the people who is searching may uh, probably get to your post and will say thank you for sharing this great information, if you know what I mean. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe, press that like button, I think I, I said this twice. God damn it! Anyway get the app from the description and leave a comment if you have any questions or if we if you have any inquiries i cannot promise i will respond to every comment because i receive more comments than you can think and i'm not on youtube every day but on the forum you will get an answer for sure for free <laughs>